Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses. Today, we've got a little something special for you. Um, it's not another horse, not yet. We're still working on getting another one. Um, there's a lot that are starting to come through to the feedlots again. So we've been kind of keeping our eye open for a good prospect. Um, not really seen too, too much lately. There's a lot of geldings, uh, a lot of uh, Belgians um, that are really, really super old that um, we wouldn't be able to rehab and turn into a good long horse trail horse so we're still taking our time and, and looking for something right buddy yeah <laughs> um for those who are new to my channel that is jarvis and that's mr darcy and um jarvis is a full blood percheron and mr darcy is a percheron gypsy vanner standard bred cross and he's just amazing and um that's snowy She's the keeper of the chickens, and you might have seen on another video if you've stumbled upon it before coming here. Um, she does keep track of the chickens. But uh, this particular episode is going to be dedicated to uh, a very awesome family member of mine. Um, I want to say two summers ago, maybe it was last summer, I don't know. Um, my cousin's son, so I guess that makes him my cousin, I guess, my second cousin. I don't know. Um, he came over and uh, he's uh, slightly, I think it's autistic or something like that. I'm not really sure what he is, but um, he wears his emotions on the inside versus on the outside. And that's what he's told me. And when I told him what Jarvis's name was, we we're just kind of going back and forth. He's older. Um, so we're going back and forth as to what his name was. And he's like, oh, you know, Iron Man. I said, yeah, you know, I, I really like Iron Man. So um, his name is Jarvis. So he goes, so you named him after the computer? <laughs> yes, I suppose I did. <laughs> so that's Jarvis, and that's his history story. But this video is dedicated to um, my cousin, Xavier. Uh, and I have a little special something to show him because he's been asking this for a little while, and um, I was pretty set against it for a long while. Um, but um, this is what I got. There they are. Look, Xavier. Those are guinea hen babies. Now they're all really hot right now because we just now got home from um, a really, really super long drive. So they're trying to cool themselves off a little bit. But uh, let's get them into their new home. And they are gonna be hanging out in here. Hello babies, hi. They're gonna be hanging out in here where the cows were. So um, there's plenty of room for them to grow and to mature. I'm gonna put out a bucket for food and some water so they'll have something to, to get in. But there's plenty of little things that they can get themselves into and then once they get big they can just fly out. So that's the plan and uh, yeah, let's let them out so they can get themselves um, unhot. Okay, I'm gonna probably just leave this kennel in here. Uh, I'm gonna put it over there and um, we're going to open the door and let them out. I'll put you guys up there for right now. I think that's good enough for now. Yeah. They're all in there. <laughs> Still pretty unhappy, but I'm going to uh, definitely maybe take off the top of that and uh, let them come out because they're pretty hot in there. You checking out the new residence? He's checking out the new ones. What is it? There's good food in there. You smell the corn, huh? 
Yeah. Those are going to be your new pals. They're going to help eat all the ticks and the bugs. What do you think? A good idea? You don't think. <laughs> so this is what I've got set up for them. Um, I don't know. I have no clue whether or not they're going to eat it or whatever. But I'm guessing they'll come out a little bit later when it's really not so hot. But I put a little bit of food in the front of their pen. Put some food in the buckets and the water. Um, I'm hoping they'll be okay. We'll see. I'll come out in a couple hours and check on them. So, all right. Well, that's that. And uh, I have a, a big butt. Can I get out? I can't get out. Don't fart. <laughs> I can get out. He always just stands right there. That's his spot. So, we're going to set this up. Um, and, uh, Go from there, and uh, I will let you guys know. Hold on a second, having troubles here. How it all works out, and uh, when they get bigger, I'll definitely be showing you more videos of them. And um, so that's that. I think I think there's 13. There might be 12. I don't know. I'll have to count again. I took a picture, so I'll have to count little heads. But that's that, and uh, it should be a lot of fun to see what they decide to do when they get bigger and where they go and all that good stuff. So I hope you had a great time. Thanks for watching this short little video on Summerfield Farm and those guys, draft horses. Have a great night. Happy 4th of July.